Um, hello. What the heck? There we go. Oh, man. Oh, that's intense. Yeah, that's definitely going to be my new intro. What's up, guys? It's the Dozen. We are back here on the Dozencraft SMP server, and today looks like a little change of plans of what I decided to do. I don't know what this is, but uh, right here in front of my hotel here at Spawn, there's a chest, and it says, I'll be in touch from Jack is a Zombie. There's a book that says the guy from 4E, and it's the original copy, so he doesn't have a copy of this. So if this is a contract, Jack, you don't know how contracts work, because I have the original copy. <laughs> and a small bribe. Okay, yeah. Emerald ore. I was, I was just talking about this. I actually just left a... Uh, a post on the Minecraft forums um, asking people to give me ideas and I might as well ask you guys as well but uh, I have a thing with collecting emerald ore I actually just went mining this, this is not planned I was branch mining because I was just you know bored or whatever uh, I got five more emerald ore I have over two stacks I think almost three stacks of emerald ore at my house and I kept it because I want to uh, incorporate it into a build somehow I just don't know what or how or what it goes with or anything so I'm gonna turn that down just a little bit <laughs> just a little bit a little bit loud for me probably not you um, but give me some ideas what can I do with emerald ore as a building block so anyways let's check this out let's see what this is all about we got some things to do today so we're gonna get into that so it's from Jack I will be in touch here's my bribe of course I can't stack it with my other stuff cuz it's named you freak alright what's this say Dear Doza, it has come to my attention that you have new real estate available to the server. I am also aware that you said it was first come, first serve. However, being the businessman that you are, I feel like you've ha you'd have you have quite an interest in this. You see, I would like to reserve a certain suite in your building. I would like first choice on the fourth floor upon completion. Here's a small token and confidence that we have an agreement. There's plenty more from Jack as a Zombie. So I'm assuming... It's not really a bribe, it's, you know, it is kind of a business deal. Uh, but I did mention that there's probably going to be suites up in here, up in here. And he wants first choice for the suites on the fourth floor. So, well, this is technically the first. One, two, three, four. So he wants it on that. That's not the top floor. I mean, I guess, yeah, sure, for fourth floor. They're not suites, but I can make it look pretty sweet. <laughs> uh, sure, Jack, sure. I'm not sure, though, if I'm going to be able to do the suites. I think, maybe, I mean, I, I, I can, obviously, this is Minecraft, we can do anything we want. Uh, so sure, sure, Jack, I'll take that. He says, he says there's more where that came from. There's plenty more, so he has more emerald ore for me, huh? Okay, I like that, sure. Uh, he also said that, he, he said there's a creeper blew up out here, and everything is still here, but things might look different. Nothing's different, I'm pretty sure he was just luring me over here so I'd read that thing. So I need to clean out my inventory, we'll do that in just a minute, but I want to show you what I've done with this place. I've been waiting a while because I kind of want to do a, co a collab with somebody and just, you know, chit chat and make a video out of it, talk a little bit, and put the rest of the floors in here. Um, a lot of slab work needs to be done, and you'll see what I mean in just a second. And I also need, I need a final decision and a final opinion from everybody, the viewers, the players on the server, everybody on officially what the walls should be inside this place. So we'll check that out. If you're not familiar with what I'm talking about, or if you forgot, let me know. We'll go see it, and then you can let me know. So, before I walk in here, I did get some things done inside here as far as the lobby goes, but I also need some lobby ideas. And uh, that that's mainly directed... I mean, people who view, please give me some lobby ideas. What... What do we usually see in hotel lobbies? Like, you know, there's like kitchens, there's like the breakfast area, uh, whatever they call that place. It's not, it's not a cafe, but, you know, where you eat food and stuff. i got to put that in there. Uh, but i got a couple things in here. There's room for more, and I'm just trying to think of what we should put there. So let's take a step in and see how the lobby looks so far. Okay, so as we walk in, there's no doors yet. Still working out the doors. May do something different with that. Um, paintings? Are just I just threw those up just just to see how it looks and it, <laughs> they're not too great right now. Let me know what you guys think. Does the paintings look good? These probably not so much. We could probably take the give me those stupid paintings. Probably take these down. I don't know how I feel about those really. 
Um, those are all right. Those maybe, maybe not the top one. Maybe we don't need the top one. I just, I just don't like the big blank walls. I mean, it's not really that big of a deal. You know what? You dumb thing. I'll get you down. Watch this. Put ow. That's the easy way to get them down. Did I yell on the microphone? I'm sorry. All right. So here's the lobby. Here's what we first see. So I got this carpet design, <laughs> which is the same carpet that Santa Claus has over there. Uh, bad news about that also. Mm, uh, so same carpet design I put th all throughout here. And it's a little funky right here. You probably don't even notice it. But uh, it just looks weird right there. It's really wide. It's six wide, which is an even number. And here it's five wide. Here it's five. Here it's three. And then down here it's like two. And this one's three. So it's, it's a little offset from each other, but it's okay. Um, and what I have worked out is the front desk. So this is the front desk. Uh, eventually I'll probably put some item frames here with like a book saying how much rooms are or something. Uh, just a little more interior designs type stuff. I want to get some plants in here somewhere, you know, like bushes and things like that. Probably a cauldron with like leaves on top of it. Looks looks pretty good. Uh, but this is the front desk. I went with quartz, which there's no quartz in the rest of the build. So it kind of looked, it looked a little funny. But uh, putting some white stained glass in this little window above the door helped a little bit. And this is what I got for the back door. We just have some gray panes and gray glass blocks. Of course, we have the doors with the golden handles because we're a fancy place. And uh, that looks okay. I don't know. We'll, we'll work this out. This is like the back area, employees only, wh whatever they do back here. This is another room here. Not sure what this is for either, but we got a nice view out the back. Uh, yeah, front desk. And then it comes into the staircase right here. So the staircase, I'm, I'm okay with. I'm okay with how the staircase turns out. turned out. Uh, so it's just closed in. You can go up and up and up and stuff like that. It's got a little entrance way right here. Not going to have a door on it. You just walk into it. And also have this on this side, which I think we may make a basement. I don't know what will be in the basement, but maybe we'll continue a, a spiral staircase downwards here down to a basement area where, where, where whatever will be, right? And then you see this room. You guys have been seeing peaks in there. What could that be? All the books in a giant room, what could that be? A library, maybe? Yes, it is. Got some glowstone on the ground. I'm going to put carpet down eventually. But here we just got a simple library. I, 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 uh, got a lot of books. Got a lot of books. Used all my books. All the books I had, all the leather I had. I even br breeded up some cows and put some stuff in here. Uh, got some flour. Put some flower pots on the thing. Got some item frames. Um, an apple. <laughs> For some reason, I did this on the last map too. I put an apple and an item frame in my library. It just looks educational, you know, an apple, A for apple. Then you got some like plant life over here. This is where you read about like marine biology. Got some nice seating areas. You can sit and read your books. And then of course we got the rows of bookshelves to go check out your things. Hopefully sometime we can somehow make it so you can actually come here and get books out of here. I think it would be cool to rewrite some books in Minecraft and then come here and uh, and be able to read them in an actual book, you know what I mean? Uh, also in the last season in my library at my personal base, uh, I took a lot of popular book titles and I kind of switched them up a little bit so they related to Minecraft. I'm trying to think uh, of some of them. Like th there's that classic book, Lord of the Flies, and then I think I, I made one book, Lord of the Slimes, and uh, what else? There's like... I don't know, there's a, there's a bunch of clever ones like that. So yeah, we got the library, may stick with the stone brick floor in here for some of it. Uh, probably won't put carpet over here because we got the tables, of course we can't put the carpet inside there. Or next to the signs here. So th this may stay stone brick and the rest will be carpet, uh, something like that. I made this chandelier and I'm not positive how I feel about it. Let me know what you guys... Hello? Skeleton? I heard you. You outside? Good, stay outside you freak. Uh, let me know what you think about it. It's just uh, nether brick um, fences, some regular glowstone in there, uh, put some quartz slabs up on top, some white stained glass, some white stained glass in the middle here, and then glowstone, and uh, some item frames with some white stained glass panes inside the item frames. Looks alright. I'm not totally sold on it, though. I've never really built chandeliers. The only kind of chandeliers I build usually are just... Uh, <laughs> The really old school ones, the one just fences with torches on top, looks good enough for me. So, this is one room, and then kind of a different room, but connected, and not really a wall in between. This will be the enchant. Um, 
when I got to this point, I was thinking, what's practical? What can be useful if you're at the hotel? Well, you can come here and enchant. So, got to get an enchantment table, put that in here. This is a fine number of books to to do that in. Once again, carpet will be all over this place. Uh, and that's it. That's it for now. And, of course, I got these little windows and stuff going on. But there's a big open area here, which I can leave open. I just kind of put carpet down <clears throat> just to see how it looks. Hello, you. Can I shoot you through the glass? Dang it. Uh... Something could be out here. We could make this into more rooms or something. I'm not totally sure. And then another little sitting area out here. Okay, so let's head upstairs. <clears throat> I want to show you guys what we're working with. Uh, I put some fences in. Did I mention that? I don't know. So this is the rooms ideas we've had. Uh, whoa, I said that sentence really strangely. But I'm trying to figure out what looks best for these room walls. So, you know, first thing we had was just the... The stone brick, just like everything else, but it's it's too much, too much stone brick, and I, I thought maybe the walls looking a little bit different would be nice. Um, this was a popular one, popular one. Uh, Necro said this is a pretty good one. We could just get the regular hardened clay. Uh, this looks good too, besides the orange, but the orange doesn't look too terrible, and it just some acacia logs in there. Uh, we also got some cyan stained clay. Looks pretty good. Stained clay in general looks good. Of course, there are some that wouldn't look good at all but uh, maybe even white stained clay that has that peach look might look pretty good there and then I just got some regular clay blocks and that doesn't look too terrible either but it, it's really it looks like concrete you know it looks like cement so let me know what you guys think um, I've been holding off on this because I really want everybody to kind of clue in and give me some ideas of what would look best here and uh, and then we head up. And, oh, this is the chandeliers I usually do. By the way, looks perfectly fine to me, but it's kind of uh, outdated. So all this up here, I still need to do. Still need to get uh, the flooring in for one, two, three, four more floors. And then we gotta separate the walls, put the wall separators in, get that all worked out too. So I still need to do all this. I was kind of waiting for a collaboration, have somebody come here and put all these floors in with me. Got everything gridded out, just how it needs to be. Um, I may I may still wait and do that. I'm not totally sure. Uh, I gotta see who's on board. So yeah, uh, sounds like we have a bribe, and Jack wants one of the rooms. He wants to. Uh, I did say it was first come first serve, and he wants one of the first suites. So that's fine, Jack. As long as you promise to pay, I, I, I'm gonna have to get on a call with him and do a little bit of talking. All right, just heading back to clean up my inventory. This has been sitting here for a while, and I haven't really addressed this, but. Uh, this was from Easter. I think Kapenga maybe? I'm guessing Kapenga because he was probably on his way over to his new house over there. No, I didn't leave one for Kapenga, did I? Dog bark in the background. I bet it was Espy because Espy's building this tree. He hasn't been here in a couple days, uh, a week. But I think he's building, I don't know if it's a giant tree or if it's a tower. It looks like a tower, but it could be a giant tree. Who knows? Who knows with Espy? He's, he's actually hosting the new Feed the Beast server. Have I mentioned that? Dozacraft, Feed the Beast. If you want to join a Feed the Beast server and be part of the Dozacraft crew, or the, or the, the sisterhood, or the brotherhood, a sister branch. What's the word when, when there's like one thing, then there's like another thing? It's like a sister thing, right? Why don't they call it brother? It's a brother thing. <laughs> if you want to be a part of the extended Dozacraft family, there we go, and you want to join Feed the Beast, uh, just let me know in the comments, I guess, and I'll, I'll uh, point you that way. Otherwise, just go to minecraftforms.net and probably search those craft feed the beast. I think you'll be able to find the application. I won't remember to put it in the description. Maybe soon. Maybe soon. I'll I'll make it a permanent thing. But uh, he he just left some of the hay from the from the Easter event. That was long winded. Why did it take me so long to explain? All right. Well, I've done a lot of talking. We're running out of time in this video. Uh, I'm gonna go clean up my inventory. I need to cook up all this iron ore I found. I've got six more diamond ore. I gotta put that away. Of course, I saved my gold ore. And uh, I'm going to clean up, and then we'll do a couple more things We'll in this video. It's a little bit of a talky video. Hope you guys don't mind. And I'm sorry I'm not really sticking to the uh, <laughs> the strict new May schedule for uploads. But it's been a, been a long weekend for me. Um, this. Oh, vines? Why so many vines? Next episode, we're going to do that. We're going to build next episode. We're going to do things next episode. So if this one bores you, tune in next time. But all right, I'm going to clean up my inventory really quick. Video's not over yet, so don't exit out just quite yet. Uh, and then, yeah, I'll be back. Just a second. Okay, nice and clean. What the heck just happened? Um, um, hello. What the heck? There we go. 
Oh, man. Oh, that's intense. Yeah, that's definitely going to be my new intro. Wow. Okay. Moving on. I had a different intro planned, but that, that just stole the show. All right. So, got my inventory all cleared up. Let's put these gold away. Look at all the gold I got collecting up now. I think I had almost two rows. or Maybe not quite that much. I had a whole bunch around Christmas time, and I gave... What was it? 5, 10, 15, 20? I think I gave 20 ores to everybody on Christmas. And I used a lot of my gold. Almost all of it on Christmas when I gave that away. Ah, oh, feels so nice to clean up. Let's put this in there. And this is separate because this is daughter's gold. This is daughter's gold. Here's 41 daughter's diamonds. And here's another daughter's diamond. Every once in a while, my daughter actually watches me play Minecraft. And she says, hey, why don't you go find me some gold? Or, you know, some diamonds. And I do, and then I name it, and then it's hers, and I can't ever use it. It just becomes part of the collection. So here's almost two stacks of Daughter's Gold. She, she was a lucky charm, because I was seriously caving and found all of this in, like, one trip. It, it's unbelievable, but I swear that's the, that was the case. I don't know, man. She's good luck, though. Uh, something else. This happened. Didn't get on camera. Um, Soy hasn't been able to record lately, so I don't think he got it. But it happened quite a while ago. Um, I don't even remember where I was at. I may have been at the hotel, but Soy hunted me down. He tried to kill me in the death games, and he didn't. It was unsuccessful, and I I got him. I got him, so now we have our first diamond for the trophy room. And I think this room here may be the room for the diamonds for the death games. I really want to get death games rolling. Uh, of course, we have our nether star here, and then this is the April 27th, 2015... This is the, the, the golden apple and the book with the coordinates that we used to kill the dragon. Boy, that was a long time ago, huh? Last episode. Go watch that if you haven't seen it. I really feel like I should be working on this hotel today for a video, but I'm not going to. I'm going to... Whoa, a leg spike. I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Please let me know what looks the best in there <clears throat> for the walls. I want to get this place done. Uh, just, just so I can mark it off the list. I always start so many projects... I don't finish them. What is that? Oh, that's different. That's different. Uh, we, so we had this fountain over here, which was a little bit of a landmark in Dozacraft, because it was actually the first... Well, this was the first structure ever built, right? This this thing right here, this was the first like little safety house built in Minecraft, which is why I built it inside here with the fences to kind of protect it. But the first like big structure was, uh, was this place. Have I showed this yet either? I put, I put a bunch of these... Uh, Street lights in. Maybe maybe that wasn't a video. I don't know. Um, but he, he tore it down and said he was going to rebuild it. And it looks like he did, but it looks a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Which is okay. But it's a lot of flat surface down here. I'm not going to say nothing. You know, it's other people's builds. Everybody has their own flavor. But I, I kind of like the other style of fountain that was here previously. Oh, he's working on paths, too. Cool. He's going to the pathway coming through here, connecting to the pathway that uh, Cowman originally made. Who, by the way, left this sign over here. Where is it? The original tree. This, this tree is protected. Cowman is making his return. Hashtag the return. 11-20-2014. Uh, well, uh, it's been way over six months since, since that, and he hasn't returned. So <laughs> we're still waiting on him. Oh, there's so many things I gotta do around here. Alright, well, uh, so I mentioned earlier, render in, would ya? I mentioned earlier there's a little bit of bad news up here. Oh boy, and I hope you guys are ready for this. Um, parents, uh, put your hands over your kids' ears. Children, stop watching this video right now. Uh, and I'm going to announce something in 3, 2, 1... Santa's dead, guys. Santa is dead. He was murdered. He was eaten by zombies, I'm pretty sure. And it was because of carelessness of somebody on the server. I don't know who. Somebody careless. So I walk in. Usually he's right here, right? Doing his thing. Running in circles. Moshing and stuff like that. I looked in the window. I didn't see him here. So I came inside. First thing I saw, this door gone. I'm like, oh, no. That means, that means zombie was here. I was like, where'd the zombie come from? No, everything's well lit in here. I did a very good job lighting this place up. Oh, oh, this door's gone. Huh. And also, this was open. Somebody came here. 
Was that supposed to be there? <laughs> that gray block on the side of the pig? Anyways. Somebody came here, came through, checked out the place. I understand, but you have to be very conscious of what's going on. There is a zomb- there is a villager inside this house, guys. Zombies like villagers. And then I'm interrupted by a knock on the door. Okay, hey, what was I saying? I don't know. Anyways, there's a freaking villager in here, guys. You gotta be more careful. So Santa's dead. We're gonna have to bury Santa. I don't even know what to bury him with. But we're gonna bury him in the in the place over there. I, should we should we replace Santa? Is that even is that like heck, can I get through the damn door? Oh you stupid thing. Is that like sacrilegious or like blasphemous in any way if we replace Santa with a new guy? I'm kinda bummed. Whoever killed Santa better come forward and confess because that's a very cruel thing to do. There's no Santa in here. No more moshing. I'm very sad. I'm very disappointed. Oh, there's actually a lot of things we have to bury. There's been a lot of animals lately that got buried. Also, Dancer's missing, but he's been missing for a while. Uh, we have Dasher, Dance, uh, we have Dasher, Prancer, Vixen, Comet, Cupid, Donner, and Blitzen, and Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer, which is that gorgeous, cute little donkey right here. Hey, Rudolph, you're the cutest thing ever. You got anything in you? Nope. But I can walk you around like a boss. Hey, Vixen, how you doing, bud? Got all the reindeer. Dancer's gone. Don't know where Dancer is. He's gone also. And we got the... Now I'm just recapping. And we got the sleigh. Jack was giving me crap because he's like, Boy, this is a sure... This sure is a small opening. I don't know how, I don't know how the sleigh w would fit in here. That doesn't make any sense. Dude, listen. Jack, it's Santa Claus. How does he fit down the chimney, huh? He's magic. It's Santa Claus. Same thing with this sleigh. He just shrinks it down to get in there. He's the guy to worry about. He's not got to worry about nothing like that. He's Santa Claus. He's, he's freaking magic. Okay, so before we end this talkie talky episode, which I hope you guys don't mind, I'm going to be doing a lot. A lot of videos. This Oh, I got some junk down here still. Here's a bed. Oh, look at that camouflage. Where'd the bed go, guys? I don't know. Anything in here we need? Yeah, oh, I'll bring, I'll bring some iron back. That's good. Useless redstone. Uh, before we go back, there's a new house up here. I want to show you guys. You can you could, you could see. I want to show you so you can see. This, you guys don't even know. Have I told you? Elrondis. Do you guys know Elrondis? Does anybody know Elrondis? He is one of the original Dozercraft members. And uh, he kind of, he's always been whitelisted, but he kind of fell off for a minute. Um, just because, you know, school and whatever else. Nice little, nice sword guy. You want to you take flight off the, uh, okay, okay, that's fine. He's going he's gonna to find me. Um, but he recently came back. Hey, buddy. Pow! Oh, I missed. Oh, God, I shot right up a bit. Blah, blah, blah. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Somebody gave you a sword? No, that's probably normal. Anyways, he's back. <laughs> Take forever to explain things. And he built this house. He's got a house up here, which is looking good. More and more is done on it every time I come here. This is all new. This is nice. This is a nice little view at the side of the mountain here. But, yeah, he's got a little house coming up here, which is very, very nice. Um, you know what? I was thinking, ooh, ooh, nice room, ooh, balcony over spawn, nice. I was thinking about burying Santa this episode, and uh, burying a couple animals, but I think we'll save that for another episode. Let's creep through his chest a little bit. It's nothing too exciting. Uh, he's just been building, he hasn't really been resource collecting, I don't think. Um, but yeah, we'll, we'll bury them on another episode, I think. Can we jump from here? Is this going to be stupid? Oh, this is stupid, 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 stupid! I'm almost dead! I'm fine, I'm fine, hi creeper, hello, hello creeper. Oh, okay. Is there anything else we want to talk about? I want to go check on these witches and make, th make sure everything's cool with them. Okay, don't shoot, don't shoot. Uh, this may go too. I haven't really talked to Will about it, and I probably shouldn't call him out on it in the video, but I'm going to anyways. This has got to go. Uh, I don't think anyone needs rails that bad. And it's a cool exploit, but... I, I, don't, I don't mind people using this exploit on the server, but I don't really want to glamorize it by putting a <laughs> by putting it at spawn you know what i mean uh why'd i dig that dirt up i dug this up for some reason i don't remember i need to fix that all right let's go check on these witches and we'll end this video i love these paths these paths are so good uh let's eat some food it's so easy to die here it's so easy to die you think you're geared up all nice like i am but then you come here and when they hit you with those weakness potions and the slowness potions and they poison you, and they start hitting you with them freaking damage potions. It does work. Speaking of doing work... Oh, no. Looks like it's time to come back here and clean up the slime farm again. I told you, man. I told you this happens so often. 
It's not as far down as it was before, luckily. It only goes to here, but I'll definitely be doing that off camera today. Alright, let's go see about these witches. Hello, slime. I hear you coming up there. Interrupted again. <sighs> Good thing it's the end of the video. Witches? Where you at? I don't see anybody. I don't see anybody here. I feel like the best way to deal with the have fun with these witches is maybe F5 mode. Maybe not. <gasps> Skeleton? Skeleton? How'd you even spawn here? How'd you get here? I don't know where he spawned at, but I don't like it. I think they may be able to spawn on top of this uh, soul sand. So that's a thing. That's a problem. Alright, let's 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 take a look around here. Oh, there's a bunch of witches over here. Looks like every witch in the world is over here. Oh, something else I realized, too. In that video, I'm pretty sure we named... We had six name tags, and we only moved five witches. So either I put a name tag on the same witch twice, which could have happened because it was kind of a hectic moment <laughs> trying to name those, or we lost one. And I haven't ran into anything. Look, there's another freaking dude up here. How you getting up here, fool? Uh, ah. Oh, you stupid thing. Um, yeah. Uh, I think we m might have might have lost one or named one twice. I'm not sure. Who's that? Who's that witch? Is that a witch we know? Hold on. Let's get rid of these jerks. Don't shoot me. You can't see that far. I know better. Eh, ah. Eh, ah. A spider bobbing up and down the water. Get dead, fool. Um, I think that's one of our witches down there. Hello? Are you still in here? Little squeaker? Oh, <gasps> He's not? Somebody killed him, too. Oh, maybe it was the witches, because I remember we, we did have a little bit of a tussle. Hey, Jenny, you're my favorite. Jenny's the OG. Jenny's the original witch up in this place. Who are you? Hey, Beverly. Uh, yeah, J Jenny's the OG. Or the OW, the original witch. The owl. Ow, ow, Jenny, ow, ow. All right, let's go see what this witch is. Let's see who this, this, this woman is down here. I have a feeling it's somebody we know. It's somebody, somebody we want to know about. I really want to find out. Oh, God. I want to find out... How that zombie got in here, and how that skeleton got in here, because that, that's some serious ish to me. Um, I really don't want these witches getting out. These are name tags. Oh, out of my own pocket. This is my own project, you know? Same with Santa Claus. Carelessness, man. Don't, don't, don't be careless, guys. Alright, I'm going to go sleep real quick. Hold on. It's a bright and sunny morning on Dozacraft, and wow, you see that magic? A new day. The rain goes away. The, the night time goes away, the scariness goes away, and the arrow that was once stuck in my chin disappears. It's a beautiful thing, really. Okay, die. Let's do a little checkup, too. Let's kill this guy. Boom. Oh, come on. Pond's gonna be here. Haven't done that yet. I don't know why. I just dug it out made a little area for a pond that we're gonna put there. I think it'll look nice. Gotta put some more water in this swamp, you know? Can't be too dry here. These guys are all collaborating. Coagulating. What's the word? I don't know. Is there two witches down here we gotta move? Who are you? Do you have a name? Gertrude. Ow, Gertrude, you stupid witch. Okay, Gertrude's out. Are you somebody? Charlotte! Charlotte and Gertrude are both out. How? How do they get out? I need milk. I'm freaking dying here. How did they get out? Frustrating. Frustrating. Fix your game, Minecraft. It's either Minecraft or... Or there's a hole somewhere, and they're able to get out. What's this? Is that a hole? No? I don't think so. We probably have to... Better to see from the top. Is there any other witches out? I mean, this has been happening since since we first built this place. And originally, I think I may have found, like, a slab or two that was loose, and they got out. But pretty sure everything is closed. And they're still getting out. Hello. Who are you? Hi, Shaquita. I kept calling her Shaniqua in the last episode, too. Or the, the last witch episode. It's Shaquita, not Shaniqua. Don't be racist. Um, Alright, well, I'm going to give this place the once-over. And make sure there's no missing... There's, you know, missing blocks or open areas or whatever. Because they're getting out somehow. Actually, pfft, you know what? L let's move these witches for the sake of video, then we'll end it. I was real. What the hell was that? Is that you making sizzle noise? I was really thinking about... Oh, 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 did you poison the skeleton too? Nope. I was really thinking about getting uh, an invisibility potion in doing this. But that's way too much effort. Let's just make this fun. Come on, witch. Okay, get up on land, Charlotte. You're the one my daughter named. We really have to save you. If, the, if there's any witch I want to save, it's definitely Jenny Greenteeth and Charlotte. Those are the two that I would be really 
almost heartbroken about losing them because they both mean something serious to me. Down to two hearts. Down to heart and a half. Almost to one heart. And we're going to live. Okay, come on. I got ten levels. You have no idea how long it takes to get ten... Ow! Ten levels in Minecraft. That one hurt. Is that a slowness? That was a weakness. Get up on land, you crazy woman. All right, let's... Oh, this is taking so long. All right, Charlotte. Charlotte. Oh! Dang! Why do I even try? Why Why do I even mess with these... Get up on the stupid pathway, you... Why do I even try these dumb, these dang dumb witches? This is ridiculous, guys. I'm glad I kept recording. I would have died off camera. Actually, I probably would have done this a lot more fluently if I wasn't wasn't on camera. It usually happens. Things get a lot harder when you're recording. Oh, my stuff is everywhere. I'm never gonna find all my stuff. Put that on. All right, come over here. Oh, this is this is bad. This is all bad. My stuff is everywhere. This witch is probably gonna kill me again, most likely. Did I have a dream about this? I'm not sure if I had a dream, but I thought I heard that witches can actually oh, hold items. Is that true in any any in any way? I thought I've heard that that witches can actually hold items. I really don't know. All right, let me put everything over to make sure. Nope, I'm missing a pickaxe. I can already tell. Hi. Ow. Is that it? What's this? That's something. I don't know what that was, but that was something. Got my depth threader back on. That's good. Don't kill me again. Don't kill me again. Oh, I hate her. Hate her so much. Okay, there's that. Shovel, torches, axe, sword. This goes over there. We got Deboza, which isn't actually Deboza yet. That. You know what? Oh, look at that. Look at that. Look at Doza. Woohoo! <laughs> I'm all red. I'm all red. What's with my arms? My arms look weird, too. That's my regular arms. Dang it, Charlotte! Alright, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. I'm gonna do it off camera. Because things work out a lot easier off camera. Uh, whoa! Oh my god, my place blew up! Oh no! The hotel blew up! Just kidding. Render problems. Welcome to my computer. Alright, I'm just gonna do this off camera. We need to come back here also. W what's going on up here? Um, we're gonna move these. What's this? Rest in peace, Peeping Tyson. Peeping Tyson. Duck chicken. Oh, I guess, uh, I think that was the chicken that was outside of Will's place. I guess he buried it. I think we're gonna move these because this is an old player's... Uh, horses that he buried. I know he has a graveyard over there, so we'll probably move that over there. Um, here lies the highest frame rate on DC. 820... Eh, yeah, that's just hokey. Take that off. We need to open up some spots for some of the people. There's the pig. Those are video quality. Shut up. Stupid. Um, okay. Yeah, well, we're gonna move some things, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna move those witches off camera. I promise you they'll get back in there. It's, it's, I know, it's crazy content you don't want to miss, but you're going to miss it anyways. So thank you guys for watching. Please click the annotation at the top right to watch the next video. Click the top left to watch the last video. And leave a comment below if you guys <laughs> want to leave a comment. Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys oops, on the next episode. Love, peace, and chicken grease. <laughs>